What's up guys? Welcome to Making the Season. Um, I just wanted to uh, do a quick review on this uh, Phelps bugle tube. Uh, I came across this company about three or four years ago uh, when I was in in the store shopping for some new calls. My uncle always told me, get the newest call on the market, and those are going to be the calls to get you the elk. Uh, anyways, I, I didn't use one of these for a long time. Uh, I always thought, oh man, that's a big bugle tube. I really don't want to haul that around. Uh, but really guys, this thing is so lightweight. It's when, when you have it around you and you're walking through the woods, you don't even notice it's really there. Um, the sound that you're getting out of it is just by far one of the highest quality resonated chambers that I've heard. And I'm not saying, I'm not getting paid by Phelps Game Calls for this. I'm not getting asked to say this. This is my own opinion. Um, the sound in this is just awesome how it just carries it out there. If you, if you want to get noticed, you need to be loud. That's what I like to say. If you want to be noticed, you need to be loud. So if you're loud, you're going to get noticed. Another bull is going to notice you. That's what I mean by that. Uh, let's go over a couple futures, uh, of this bugle tube. What I, I like, um, for one, the mouthpiece here is uh, the mouthpiece is awesome. I love this mouthpiece. It uh, it's big. You can get your lips in there. <laughs> That's what I like. The first bugle tube I ever owned uh, just had a little round ball right here, and I I didn't really like that. Um, another thing I like about the bugle tube next future is it's it's rigid right here. So when you're grabbing it, you actually feel like you have control of the bugle tube. You know what I mean? Some of these bugle tubes, that mouthpiece comes in and you're holding it with no grip, nothing. It gets wet. Sometimes it gets slick. Sometimes, you know, this makes it makes you feel secure. Like you know what you're doing when you have this in your hand. You feel powerful. I feel powerful with it. Just holding it here, guys. Just sitting here talking about it. It's making me... <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, another future I like uh, is they got this elastic stretchy band on it. And what's nice about that is I don't strap this to my... I, sometimes I do. Strap it inside my vinyl harness. So when I'm walking through the woods, if I if if it goes the fall, it doesn't get dropped and it doesn't get lost. Um, one thing I do, you know, you can throw it over you like this. Doesn't matter how big of a guy you are. You put it all the way back on top of your pack back here if you need to, and it's out of your way. Uh, I recommend you just don't put this on your neck all day though, because it rub it raw. Or you can just put it underneath your shoulder. It's it holds the last band holds it to your body. That's that's one thing I like about the um, uh, elastic band that they have on here. It's simple, it's nice. Uh, another thing that, I, this is my favorite part about this bugle tube besides uh, how well it resonates when you're, when you're doing a bugle is uh, I like the design. See how the elastic it goes through the bugle tube and it's tied off in the inside through a little tiny hole there. That is, that's awesome. You're not gonna worry about it getting torn or dropped or anything or pulled out, whatever. So another thing is, is I like the how they did the design, I mean, of how the, the fabric here 
kind of has an elastic in the front pulls over the top of this and secures this fabric around the bugle tube and then at the other end they made it smaller to where they pull it, you pull it tight and it goes over the bugle tube. My last bugle tube, the one thing that drove me freaking nuts is I would just get irritated because the fabric went up this way. It was big fabric. Uh, the fabric down here would stay uh, a little bit, but there was just a rubber band holding it. And that rubber band, when you're elk hunting, you're going through heavy timber. You're going through a lot of different things. And uh, it would move around the fabric, get loose. And you start hearing that all over the freaking place, being really noisy, making unnatural sounds, I call it. And that's one thing that Phelps Game Calls can, you know, hit the market with is, I like that. I don't know if they came up with that idea. I, I, I have no idea. All I know is I like how the fabric stays on the bugle tube. And believe it or not, this bugle tube, it's not, this is not noisy. Really, it isn't. I mean, I... Yeah, every once in a while you're gonna clunk it up against your bow, you're gonna smack it off a rock, you're gonna, you know, and it's gonna make an unnatural sound. But that's that's it. It's whatever it is, you know. But uh one of the things I like I said is how this bugle tube resonates is what I like. So this is what it sounds like. <laughs> beautiful sound it makes it resonates it gets it, it i've made canyons echo with this bugle tube last year i talked to more than probably 15 16 17 maybe 20 25 30 bulls at a you know different times but every time i went out i was hitting them hard whap babe ruthing them with the phelps game bugle tube anyways Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. It helps me out. I'm trying to grow this channel. I have a lot more videos coming your way. Talk to you guys soon.